Today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Well, Alexander, this has been a great time sharing with you. It's always been a pleasure. Alexander's always had taken time to spend with Grandma and discuss the Word. So, Alexander, what question do you have for me today? Uh, the question I have today is to deal with tithing. And the question is, is tithing a part of the Old Covenant, or does that also apply within the New Covenant? We can find that out, tithing in the Old Covenant or the, and the New Covenant. If something's been mentioned in the New Covenant, we know it's been carried through from the Old Covenant. The Old Covenant was the law before Jesus. So in the New Covenant, it says that Jesus is now our High Priest, and He receives our tithes and offerings. You see, we also know it follows through because we have the blessing of Abraham. Mm -hmm. And the blessing of Abraham, if we go back to when God blessed him, Abraham was blessed first and then he gave tithes. So that's just a flow from the old to the new. It wasn't really an old covenant thing. It oh, okay. was right from the beginning with Abraham. Okay, yes, awesome. And then like kind of a follow-up question is, is then, as we like continue to tithe, what does that open up to us that like the blessing we have by believing in Jesus doesn't already? Right, that's something a lot of people have struggled with. And part of that thing is people always want to be rewarded for something they do. The problem with that is we've already been rewarded, as you said. In Jesus, we're already blessed. So then people say, why tithe? Well, part of that tithing is um, accessing the blessing. Okay. It's like your mom makes you a meal. Mm -hmm. She puts it on your plate, and it's there. That's your plate of food. Mm -hmm. But until you access that food, or by faith, knowing it's good food, you take your fork and put it in your mouth and chew it, that food will not do you any benefit. And our blessing is there for us, but our tithes and offerings... Um, access, bring it from the spirit realm into the natural. Plus, we've been given a new heart. When we're born mm -hmm. again, the spirit of God's put in us. And we don't need rules, laws, regulations telling us what to do. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit puts it in our heart, in our spirit. And as we renew our mind, change our way of thinking, it's just that love for people that we will tithe and give offerings because we want them to hear the good news as well. Mm -hmm. So now, you're blessing other people, allowing them to access the blessing. Plus, it's mm -hmm. a pleasure to your Heavenly Father because you're saying, Father, I know you're my source. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I give you my tithe and offerings. Wow. Does that explain it good that enough? That is totally awesome. Praise God. <laughs> so you're okay with yep. you? That's great. Awesome. awesome. 